Hello you bonkers and welcome back today to another video on the Druzy channel. It's another trade update video. You guys seem to like these and I'm loving seeing where all these picks and whatnot are going, where all these new players are going to. The trade period has obviously opened now, so uh, it's picking up some steam. I'm going to upload as many trade updates as I can. If you guys like them, let me know in the comments down below. Drop a like, drop a sub if you're new. Let's get trade into it. First big deal off the trade period is Big Finn Layson, the big boy from GWS, heading home to Adelaide. Port Adelaide in particular uh, to play his footy there next season. Port have got Finn Layson for a third round pick and he's moved there because obviously he's from South Australia, he's moved over to Sydney, had a kid and they just have no family there, him and his partner, so they've moved back to South Australia so that they can have some family support and GWS have facilitated this move probably for less than what Finn Layson is worth just to make this happen. Good job GWS, you've done a good deed. He played 13 games last season and kicked 23 goals and Port have showed interest in playing him in the ruck as a second ruck behind Scott Lysette, maybe just in that forward half. So Finlayson to Port, it's a done deal and it gives Port one of the most stacked forward lines in the AFL. They didn't really need another forward but they've got one in there now as well. Maybe that could push out like a motlop and with Laddams going as well, he's got to fill in that spot. Good bit of business here by the power, and I think Finlayson will slot in nicely. The next piece of news is Luke Dunson has officially signed for Melbourne. The other day, I literally put in my thumbnail, Luke Dunson to Essendon, question mark. And no, he's had his hand in a few little cookie jars, and he's a free agent, unrestricted, so why wouldn't you? And he's picked Melbourne, the Premiers. I mean, <laughs> there's not many, many better clubs to go to at the moment. He played 12 games last season, Averaged 25 disposals and 4 tackles and got 11 round low votes. The footy that this bloke played was good. I don't know why St Kilda don't want him. He must have fallen out with the coaches or something like that. But adding to that Melbourne midfield depth, it's crucial to maintain a dynasty. And I think Luke Dunson will slot in nicely as that fourth mid behind Viney, Petrarca and Oliver. He can tackle, which is obviously a must in that Melbourne midfield, and finding the ball as well is not an issue for him. This is an absolutely massive signing by Melbourne if they're gonna wanna continue this premiership success. Will Brody join Fremantle? Nah. Will Brody has been linked to Fremantle, and I think this is a deal that could happen. Apparently, Will Brody and pick 19 could be going to Fremantle for a future second round pick, which makes no sense to me. We get a player and a first rounder for a future second. I mean, they must just want to get him off their wage bill. He was drafted with the ninth pick in 2016 and hasn't quite lived up to that high. He's only played six games in the last two seasons. Hasn't been able to crack that midfield of Tuke Miller, Rao and Anderson for whatever reason. You'd think that you'd be able to make a midfield at Gold Coast, but he hasn't been able to. And it sort of scares me that he's only played six games in the last two years, but he's meant to be a clearance beast when he does play. And given that we've just lost Adam Chera, he could probably slot in. I wouldn't mind taking him on, but we can't just keep filling the list with crabs that don't want to play at another club and just come and chill at Frio for a bit. We want someone that's hungry. Peter Bell seems to like him. I think this deal could happen. He averaged 12.8 disposals last season and 2.4 clearances from that. So uh, that's about half of the output that Adam Chera would get. So he's obviously not going to fill in that void left by Chera, but hopefully he can reinvent himself at Frio and live up to that top nine pick potential. Peter Bell spoke on the trade radio today, I believe, and has said that Adam Chera to Carlton looks like it'll be happening in the coming days. Looks like we'll be getting the sixth pick and a future second round pick, and we'll be sending a future third. Not a good deal for me. I wanted to rip Carlton off drastically, but uh, I mean, we get two players for the price of a superstar. Not great, but what can you do when a player's out of contract and wants to go home? Not a lot. And an update on the Jordan Clark situation is that Geelong are being difficult. Obviously, he's contracted, so he doesn't have to leave, but they're asking more than what Frio are willing to pay. So I wouldn't be surprised if Jordan Clark stays or Frio fork out like a second round pick for him, which would just about be fair, you'd think, but... I don't know, I wouldn't mind holding off another year for Jordan Clark just yet. And Brandon from the West Coast Eagles agent has come out and said that they've been talking to a few different clubs. I believe he went to Carlton, uh, but that interest has dwindled supposedly, and he could be a West Coast player again next year. Brandon though is definitely exploring the market and could be at a different club next year, but just as yet, he has not 
found a suitor. It's a similar story to Rory Lobb, the Frio tool. He just hasn't been able to play consistent footy at Frio and we want to develop him. I just don't think he has the hunger. I believe his agent is looking around in the market to see if there's any other clubs that will take him on and Lobb is open to a move, but this one's a bit, bit of a 50-50 one. I wouldn't be surprised if he stayed, but if he left, I wouldn't really care either, to be honest, but uh, we'll see where this one goes. Also looks like Darcy Tucker will re-sign for Frio, so the title of my last trade <laughs> rumours vid, uh, it's redundant. Dunson's gone to Melbourne instead of Essendon, and Darcy Tucker will not be going to Geelong by the looks of it. It looks like Darcy Tucker will re-sign. So basically, I just waffled that whole episode about nothing in particular, but that's all right. That's going to wrap up this video anyway, so you don't have to hear me waffle anymore. Make sure you drop a like and leave a comment down below of your thoughts of these trades. As I said, I'll be trying to get these out as much as I can. I hope you guys are enjoying them. The views seem to show that that is the case, so I appreciate everyone who's been liking these sorts of videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, you plonkers.